Again, welcome to Programming Logic and Design Course. In this lectures, we are going to cover the steps involved in program development cycle. So our main objective again is to go through the steps that involve in a program development cycle. So these are the steps. First, we need to understand the problem. Understanding the problem is we have to know the objective of the program or the software. Now, anytime we are involved in a software development project, we must have a reason. The main goal most likely is to solve a problem using the software. So we need to understand the problem or if it's for entertainment, we still have to know the objective, how the game is going to be played or the players involved. So that's the first step. We need to understand the problem. Understanding the problem also in software engineering, we use the term requirement analysis. So this is where we are going to list all the specifications of the system. For example, functional requirements, what the tasks that the system will perform or the tasks the system will perform. Then we have non-functional requirement, which will be the characteristics of the program. For example, the security, performance, robustness, et cetera. After that, we move to the plan the logic. This is where we are going to design the program uh, because to understand the problem, we know what is the input, we know what will be the result. So here we are going to design the algorithm to achieve the goal. Then next, we code the program. So this is the implementation. And uh, here we write the source file then we need a compiler or interpreter to translate the program into machine language because we know computers doesn't understand English language except binary form of language, which we call the machine language, zero ones, zero ones. After that, we test the program. If there's no any errors, then we put the program into production. Then as time goes on, we are going to maintain the program. So this is the diagram again. We understand the problem first, plan the logic. This is the design phase. Implement the program or write the code, translate the code to machine language, test the program. If everything is good, we put the program into production. And as time goes on, we are going to maintain the program. So let's go through each step. First is understanding the problem. Here we say this is one of the most difficult aspects of programming. Uh, in computer science also, we always say computer science is not about programming, but rather solving problems. So understanding the problem is very important. And now if we make a mistake in this first phase, it will affect the whole project. So one of the most difficult steps of programming, understanding the problem, users or end users, these are the people for whom a program is written for. Most likely, we are going to get the requirement uh, analysis phase, which is the functional and non-functional requirement. We are going to get it from the users because they are the one most likely understand the problem more because they are the one using the maybe the previous version of the system or they know how the, the, the business domain, how the business operations goes. And also here, we're going to write the documentation. So in a supporting paperwork for a program, especially the program specification or the list of the functional and non-functional requirements. Then we plan the logic. So this is where we are going to write the algorithm or design phase. This is where we are going to design the algorithm. Now, what is an algorithm? Here we say it's the sequence of steps or rules we follow to solve a problem. Now, the steps might be in sequential order and you have to be finite time. So we must be able to complete uh, the tax at a specific time. Now, in this course, the most common planning tools we are going to use will be the flowcharts and also the pseudocode. Pseudocode and flowcharts are used, again, to design the program. Also, we have what we call the desk check-in. Here, we are going to walk through the program's logic on a paper before you actually write the program. 
Next step will be the coding the program. So this is the implementation phase. Here we are going to use any programming language to write the code. So the coding is easier than the planning step because we know the planning step, especially coming up with the design of the algorithm is very difficult. The coding or the programming is just using the sentence uh, of the specific programming language. Next, using the software, we are going to translate the program into machine language. Uh, as we said earlier, again, computer, the CPU only understand machine language with 0101s. One, now, if there's any error in the program, we are going to debug it, that's to remove the errors. So when we write a program and there's a syntax error, it means we cannot execute the program. A syntax error will be the grammatical uh, error, like in English language, uh, the grammar. So here we say the misuse of a language grammar rules. Also programmer correct the listed syntax error and might need to recompile the code several times, make sure there's no any syntax error no more before we can again test it. So this is the steps here. First, we write and correct the program code. Uh, if it's fine, then we compile the program. Now, if we comp compile the program and there's an error, syntax error, we have to go back and fix it. Because if we have a syntax error, we cannot execute the program. Now, if there's no syntax error, then the next step is execute the program. And if there's no any logic error, then the program is good to go. When we say a logic er error, which is a semantic error means uh, logic, uh, for example, I want to write a program to find a sum of two numbers, but I mistakenly write the product of two numbers. So this means the program will still execute because there's no syntax error, but the result will not be a correct result. So we need to test the program with any data, the data we have and make sure our output is the correct answer. So testing, we have what we call the logical error, as we mentioned earlier. earlier. So here result when a synthetically correct statement, but the output or the result is wrong. So we test, which means we execute the program with some sample data to see whether the result are logically correct. This is very important step because if there's no syntax error and we can be able to execute the program, that doesn't mean there can be error. We can have a logical error, which is also means a result that we are expecting, we are not going to get it. Now, anytime there's an error, we do what we call the debugging. So debugging is the process of finding and correcting the program errors. So program should be tested with many set of data. Next, we put the program into production. So after testing, everything is fine. Here we say the process depends on the program's purpose. It may take several months. And also the entire set of actions an organization must take to switch over to using a new program or a set of programs. It's what we call the conversion process. Next is maintaining the program. So after we put the program into production, as time goes on, we may need to make some changes uh, to improve it, which means to add more features to the program. This can later be a new version of the program. So making changes at the pro after the program is put into production. The common first programming job is to maintain the previously written programs. Now make changes to existing programs. And this means we can repeat the development cycle again. So this will be the conclusion of our lectures and unit 1-2. So in these lectures, we went through the steps in, again, program development cycle. Thank you. See you in the next lectures.